This video explains a logical and scientific reason for the irrational number sequence that never ends and never forms a regular pattern. It is easy to see that the infinite sequence of whole numbers can represent the infinity of three-dimensional space because the numbers can be used to represent three-dimensional shapes and because they go on into infinity. But in a new theory called quantum atom theory, it is the irrational numbers that drop out of the whole number sequence that represent the never-ending expansion of time. Modern physics has no understanding of time, no understanding of why we have a future and a past, or even what the moment of now is. In this theory, time is formed by the emission and absorption of electromagnetic radiation, or light, from one atom to another. Because it is impossible to achieve absolute zero, all objects radiate electromagnetic radiation continuously, even the atoms of an observer. Electromagnetic radiation will radiate out from its radius a wave function that will continuously form a future probability of when and where it will come in contact with another atom. When it does this it will form a new quantum of energy in the form of a photon that will have a unique position in space and time that the wave function never had before the collapse. In this way the forward momentum of light forms a passage of time. This theory is based on the simple idea that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum physics is the same probability that the observer will have with any future event. The uncertainty principle is formed by a quantum wave particle function that expands as an inverse light sphere of electromagnetic radiation. This is why we have pi in the equation for the quantum wave particle function representing the shape of the wave function in three-dimensional space-time. We also have pi in the equation for the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. This is why pi is an irrational number and keeps on going forever, just like time. Never forming a regular pattern with all the properties of a random number, just like probability, except that each of its digits are known. There is always the same amount of even and odd numbers in the continuous sequence of pi. Just as if you continuously tossed a coin, you would create a sequence of numbers with the same amount of odd and even numbers, or heads and tails. Light is always radiating out from its radius, a square of probability. This is the same square of probability you will have with any future event. If you tossed up a coin, you will mathematically create a square of probability. Because all objects, even people, radiate light or electromagnetic radiation continuously, we are also creating our own future probability, just like the coin. The atoms bond together and then form their own space-time geometry in unison. It is because the observer can choose when and where to collapse the wave function that we have free will to create our own ripples in the fabric of space-time. The wave function represents a time continuum at the most fundamental level. Time only moves forward because the probability of the wave function only works one way. We always know the position and momentum of a quantum particle in the past. In this theory, this has nothing to do with consciousness because it is a physical process of the wave function collapsing and reforming, creating the arrow of time and the geometry of space-time. This is a universal process, so even the mind of the observer is governed by this process. Consciousness represents the most complex form of this dynamic universal process, creating an infinite number of future possibilities and opportunities. Therefore the observer is always in the moment of now, forming his own space-time geometry as a group of atoms. The observer will be able to look out from the center of his own reference frame seeing an infinite number of photon-electron couplings continuously in flux changing and the further away they are the further back in time they will be. Because light and time are linked together light between the atoms will always be a universal constant independent of the motion of the light source and independent of the observer of the light. This theory is very simple 
but it can explain the paradoxes of quantum mechanics, explaining, explaining why we have free will for the creative evolution of our own reality within a dynamically evolving universe of Einstein.